20 about him. <laughs> if you do that, I'm going to be very bad, man. No, man. don't listen. Don't, don't listen to him. You Just shut up, dude. Him. He's lying. He's lying. You just hear slapping just on the wind. Right. <laughs> Get back in the fog. I took a shower and I uh, immediately was thinking this. I can't wait till I'm too old to wash myself. And I think I'm going to start. I don't I, I, I need to make more money to where I can have someone bathe me now. That would be great, dude. Honestly, like, um. I'm learning more and more that buying people's time for yourself <laughs> is quite fantastic. <laughs> it's the biggest power trip you could ever it get over somebody. It is so good. It is. You're you just stealing look at life. The, yeah, like literally like uh, here's this fake stuff that doesn't mean anything because we're going to collapse in 15 years and you give I me wanna, your life force in return. I desperately want uh, somebody who doesn't speak English so I could really hear the disgruntled, the disgruntled noises they make as they fold up my fat and spread my legs <laughs> and have to get into all the nooks and crannies because they're like you know they're they're, they're saying whatever and you're like oh how are you ugh. gonna know the noises uh are described oh, without subtitles oh i'll know what uh what kind of person are you hiring so foreign language what age what gender i feel like the person that would be kindest to me is an old mexican woman they do Ooh. seem like they would be the kindest don't they Versus, like, if I got like an old German woman, I feel like they would just. I don't think you're I, gonna well, get. Well, the best you could get from that area is probably like an old Polish, like Slavic woman. I would be okay with that too. Honestly, anybody, I'd be fine with anybody. <laughs> just anyone who'll take the gig. And the thing too is, I'm not getting in a bath though. They have to stand in the shower with me in like a wetsuit, like a hazmat suit, <laughs> oh, and they what? scrub me no. down. If you're that rich, they're not. You're not making them wear a hazmat. There's got to be some level of intimacy to this relationship. Well, if they're naked with me, then that's just too much. Because then it, well, it, 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 it borderlines on sexual, even bathing suit, like being in a shower <laughs> and touching me naked versus like a hazmat suit. I am an experiment. Like I am like it's a Chernobyl esque situation. So if it doesn't it, there, a hazmat suit in that scenario takes any sexual in like indication out of it. Yeah, they have to bring out think, a device with them. Do you think if uh, oh. Guadalupe was in a bathing suit. You'd fall okay. In love with All right. First off, Guadalupe. <laughs> don't, 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 don't say old Guadalupe. All right. That doesn't. Just say like Rosa or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Guadalupe. Dude. If you guess old, old silver tongue, old Guadalupe, old bag of nachos there. If she. Uh, yeah. That's right. Old, old flip flop. If she, if she what? If she, if she was in a bathing suit, what would happen? No, I was asking. All right, so she she's a lovely, super nice woman. Oh, you can't couldn't be nicer. A word you sound, she's saying. You sound like you doubt she's, it. she's in a she's in a two piece two piece bikini, and she's scrubbing you down <clears throat> every day. And she's right. not related uh, to you familiarly. Right? Do you fall in, Do you fall in love with her? You think? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I, I, th I think at that point it's just strictly business. Uh, uh, that's what I think. No. Uh, yeah, she's she's gagging and saying no. Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> no. Okay, how, no. how about this? But you know what, what her, happens, her hand what her happens hand, when you get a boner? Her hand reaches out. Her hand reaches out and still takes my money. So that's how I yeah. know she's a good worker. It's like uh it's like that show Dirtiest Jobs with that one white guy, except for <laughs> uh Rosa. Except my queen. Guadalupe, the queen. Yeah. Yeah, except for old Guadalupe. <laughs> what do you say? What do you old say to her when you taco get hard? shell? What do I say? What do I say when I get a boner? Yeah. <gasps> I don't know. So I'm sorry. sorry. I don't know if I would. I, th I think I, maybe over time I'd probably get used to it and I'd be like, it's kind of maybe it turns me on that somebody's this disgusted with me that they have to wear a hazmat suit to wash me. Like, I feel like it'd <laughs> no, be like a, no, no. Be she's, a kink she's still in a bikini. She's still in a bikini. In this oh, scenario. I just would. That would not happen, yeah. though. Because if, if they're in a hazmat, then yeah, it's just like you're shame that you're hard. You know? Can can we yeah. can we she's... have a middle ground? Can she at least she can okay. wear a two piece bikini, but she has to wear the hat, the hazmat hat. <laughs> How do we feel about that's that? A, that's, that's, that's at least cartoonish enough to where I feel like it's taking the sexual implication out. But if anything, then it just feels like I'm no, ashamed of her it's, face. It's, yeah, it's kind of making it worse. I'm like it's, ashamed of her face, but I want to see her like old body. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, 
No, I don't think that, you know what? I'm sticking to the hazmat suit. I, I, I think that it's like, yeah, hazmat suit. What about one of those one pieces mums wear because they have like baby fat from the baby? No, no, no? I would, I would still get hard. I think I, it needs to be a hazmat suit. <clears throat> I, uh, the idea, just, especially that's even worse than a two piece. A two piece is even like even more unflattering. The one piece really tightens everything up, and I know that it's going to be like a a fucking can of Pillsbury Doughboy, like a, a can of Pillsbury dough that like you 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 crack open, you know, and it all pours out, and that even that kind of gets me chubbed up just a bit. That yeah. nice reveal. Yeah, I feel it's exciting. I, f- I feel like too. If you saw too much like uh, of that flab and everything, and her kind of gross body, you would feel sort of like obliged to return the favor, and that would ruin the whole dynamic. I think strictly professional. She doesn't ever touch me. It's it's like she uses sponges and she uses like long, like <laughs> lo- long devices that that get me from forceps afar. to yeah lift up the bits and yeah like literally like that, that little pinchy gun that people have yeah. where it's like yeah you have that <laughs> she, she fucking holds up your flab and just like yeah. scrapes and out and the debris or anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. exactly. All my brown, all my brown m- malnourished skin that hasn't seen sun since I was seven. Plucks the mushrooms from beneath yeah. the folds of your skin, puts them in a little exactly. bag. You want to keep? Uh, You're like, no, yes. no, Guadalupe. Yes, Rosa. Oh, yes, yes, Guadalupe. Yes, yes, okay. Rosa. I, I put on counter. Thank you. You're such a gym. Tomorrow, uh, same time. See. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that's, that's the worst thing. Is I'm always very happy and I like her a lot. Like she's yeah. like, I think that I like working with her and I'm glad that she does the service for me. And so I always say, so same time tomorrow? And she just, see. Because your fucking but foster I, children don't visit you. They don't like you. So this woman is kind of the human contact you have in life. Exactly. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm kind of sold. I kind of want to be there too now. Do you have to wait until you're that old? No, I said I want to make enough money to where it happens oh, now. Do That's it what now. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Would it be weird That's if we shared the cost. same scrub you probably lady? already are making enough money. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I re- realistically, for someone to have to come out here and then also get a hazmat suit and be like, you have to get in the hazmat suit and then be willing to be in a shower like a small intimate shower with someone who's naked and probably bump into me and my balls and like wash my balls, my asshole. I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know what is this unrealistic? Like a grand, session? A, a, a grand a session, a grand a session, $20,000 a year. Yeah. You, well, you take, you take a shower every day. So you're talking about paying okay. this woman kind of $365,000. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about every day, even maybe even, you're talking about maybe even t- like twice a day. She do you could really, be at my house. Do you really think she, you can't find a Mexican woman, 50 year old Mexican woman that would, Oh, I know I can't. That would do it. No, 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 but wait, saying, but wait, that's what I'm saying. What's, where's the ethics? Is that's that's insane. A, I'm, no, 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 I'm saying, I, I, I guess I'm saying a thousand a day. Let's just say that. I'm saying a thousand a day. Yeah, that so you're is about two, two sessions same, a day. It's the same thing. Tell okay, me you okay, couldn't find day. one to Even do so. that for like 60 grand a year. You pay, yeah, you're paying them a third of a million dollars to witness you. Should I mean, to be fair, yourself. to be fair, she would be desensitized after a while. Like it wouldn't be a big deal. I'm just saying up front at first. And I, I even said, is this unrealistic? And maybe it is. I mean, hearing it now, $365,000, what the fuck am I thinking? I wouldn't pay that, but it feels yeah. wrong to be like 50, 50 grand. <laughs> no, no, no. $50 a, a wash. <laughs> I supply lunch. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, realistically, realistically, you're working one hour a day. Yeah, exactly. Don't don't judge our laugh. Not, like not, 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 like, not even that. Not even that. I mean, I sh- I showered before this. It took me ten minutes. So if, realistically, if we did get, two. She yeah, probably did a she just needs job. to get a, a clientele going. She's you know. She she I got some friends down in Texas who, uh, <laughs> if you, if you, yeah, want. They're, coming up, they're coming up by F three fifty on the back of a fucking hay truck, <laughs> gonna come up here and uh, do some uh, do some washes for you. I guess realistically though, too, you'd have to be like compensate for time and all that stuff too. So realistically, what's a good day rate? You think? My mind is saying, my mind is saying one hundred and fifty, one hundred and fifty a day. How much is that a week? That's about a thousand a week. Is that is that about a thousand a week? Pretty much, 4, right? In a month, thereabouts. So, so about fifty grand a year. I mean, grand. she's make, she's making as much as an like a fucking entry level graphic designer. I mean, like I mean, that, that's, that's that feels still more insane. than reasonable. That's insane money for like an hour of her time a day. I'm I for sure. 
I guess it's more so the inconvenience and it's also at the it's in a way where she's just waiting, right? She also doesn't speak yeah. any English. So she isn't talking to anybody around here. And then she does not she's not like she's like cleaning anything else. So it's like she's she, patiently yeah, waiting for 10 hours to do putting her on retainer for yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 10 hours she a day to basically. Leave, 12 she hours to a day. Your house. No, no, no. Wait for you to want no, to take a shower. No, 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 no. Well, wait, hold you, on. Are you going to take her passport in the closet and open the door and let her out? And Actually, it would be, like, it'd be even longer. Cause let's say cuz I've been waking up at like 7 or 8 in the morning lately. So let's say it's right when I wake up. So she has to be at my house by 8 to do my first cleaning. And then I don't go to bed till like let's say I mean 10 p.m. I mean mm-hmm. she she basically is living. She has to wake up so early and then drive here, and then she has to go home at night so late. Like she never has dinner with her family probably ever. <laughs> that's not you know I don't feel like that's a bridge too far for Guadeloupe. It's Rosa. Uh, yeah. So my what? So you're, you, you still just, think you, that, just, you just moved you your life think, around? That's still, that's still a great gig. So you still you, sure. you're, you're thinking that like the forty thousand actually it'd probably be like forty six thousand dollars a year. You think that'd be too too much? I think that sounds reasonable. I mean, for for that kind of thing, that's a respectable wage, right? Yeah, yeah. Not, Especially when yeah. you're steer and you're talking about buying time. I am stealing stealing this woman's remaining years. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, it's not even buying time. I'm stealing it at this point. Like she has no, and this is every day. This is a seven day mm-hmm. job. If she doesn't it like it, then she can fuck imagine, off. It's funny to imagine Guadalupe's friends being jealous of her job. Oh my going God. To, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can going to wash so Hunter good. twice a day. Hey, let me clean the boy. I want to clean him. <laughs> <laughs> and no, 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 he's mine. He's my boy. Yeah, I find out. I find out that Guadalupe gets shot and killed over the job. <laughs> yeah, the cartel gets involved. <laughs> You're making how much money? <laughs> That's right. We you send in our to... guys. I don't know why they sound like Russians. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guy shows up. A it's like the, 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 the fucking. It's the fucking twin brothers from Breaking Bad show up to my house and just manhandle me around. <laughs> <laughs> they force me to take showers at certain times of the day. I don't know. I have I have places to be. <laughs> just, yeah, just fucking push you into the shower, bend you over. Then she, none <laughs> of the tenderness that Guadalupe brought to the job. Well, see, that's the thing too. Is I have to feel comfortable with it, right? It needs to feel almost like, because in a way, I'm buying a baby experience. It's almost what it, it does feel like a fetish in a way. Mm-hmm. It's like a baby fetish. I want her to be nice with me, and then whenever I'm done, she puts nice gold bond powder in my undies. I it really wouldn't pay long for whatever, because you can start professional, but I just don't feel like you have the self control to keep it professional. And yeah, before you know it, she's doing like I think psych- powder I th- in your. Yeah, I think uh, psychological over time. I think that you probably have like a weird fetish things start to spur up i, I just don't see because that, that's the thing with old people too is like they, they're delusional people who are getting washed and that they're old they don't even know where the fuck they're at if somebody's totally mm. conscious they're definitely developing developing some kind of baby kink or something like after a while i don't even like i don't wear underwear or pants i wear diapers she's like changing me <laughs> yeah bottle feeding you on her knee yeah i'm latching <laughs> I'm sucking her fucking old dried tits. <laughs> My girlfriend I, I, actually used to do that in the her old what? clientele. What? On her. Yeah. What? <laughs> which which part? You can't address she, that she, after I said I'm sucking her old dried tits. No, 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 no. Yeah, she, my no, I, I, I did not mean to say that my Spit girlfriend used to pay used to pay a Mexican woman to wash her and then started sucking her tits. That's <laughs> oh, I was I, mean. I was That's thinking that hot. she was being paid, yeah. to wash somebody and, and somebody was sucking her tits. <laughs> That's that's how I read it. No, she. I guess I'll like, say before you go too far into that, I did have a quick thought, which was if you did have to suck somebody's tits who were dry, I'd have Guadalupe. I'd have her sit there and I would be sucking her tits, and then I'd, I, for the stimulation of actually drinking milk, I would go off to the side and she'd have a little container of milk that she'd pour into my mouth, and I'd drink it to stimulate as if I was drinking milk. Go ahead. I bet her nipples would look like brown talkies. <laughs> yeah, no, it would look like a. It looked like an old silly string, like an like old little, tree root. Yeah, like, like dried, like it was used the day before. Yeah, like literally, like literally, it would, it would look like the 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 root to like a uh, uh, like a pumpkin. You know <laughs> I mean, like the, the top of that little, it would look just like that. All right, go ahead. Sorry. 
So what was your game? Oh, just uh, what well, you were saying, they're too senile to really be like an issue. But I think her clientele was like kind of macking on her, like while she's like washing this naked eighty year old <gasps> guy. Touch it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. What? What it's did she used dirty. to do? You didn't really explain her job. She would wash like in hospice care people that could barely move. She was a. Like, uh, she worked in a like one of those old care homes. I think so, yeah. And it's always like a hospice house young, No wonder she's fucked in like, the head. Why? Yeah, no, but it's always young women that think they want to do that. I don't understand it. Like, what's the fuck is wrong? It's 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 it's, it's always soul. it's it's always the girl who's like doesn't want kids, but then it's like she's showing every trait of like trying to do motherly things. I swear to God, I know exactly what you mean. But it's it's the same people who are like, I don't want kids really, and then they're fucking taking care of senile old guys who are trying to like finger fuck them. They have like, like, like eight like, animals, a thousand plants, mm, just like can't placentas. stop. Yeah, <laughs> just can't, just can't, can't stop fucking tending to stuff in a motherly fashion. Yeah, that's a yeah. pet peeve. That's one of my pet peeves. I'm like, don't you see? Don't you see what your biology is demanding and screaming from you? Like, I just like monsteras. Well, now she does see you. Now I'm in trouble. So it happens. They come uh -oh. around. Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> you, uh, how long do you how long do you think you're gonna have a kid don i feel like yeah. you're gonna have a kid in the next year the cream i am is 20 is 2024 i mean you're getting old how old are you you're like 34 how old are you don yeah, 37 you're i mean you're getting yeah. up there you gotta do you start think that, soon yeah. bud do you think do you think 2024 is the year where we see another scoliosis ridden <laughs> child brought into the world <laughs> Well, that's he's that beautiful. <laughs> kind of the problem because if you wait too long, then yeah, you're you're way more yeah, likely yeah. to curse them with that. But but the yeah. real thing I'm afraid of is um, the older you wait, the more spoiled your cum becomes, and then you oh you have a retard way kid. more like exactly we're, we're not not even yeah. that far, but just like an autistic kid. I think it's or inevitable. Have a you kid noticed with ADHD that? or both? You know I what think I mean? it's, dude. I think it's a, it's impossible to not have an autistic child now. I it's swear to God, I, I feel like every single person I know, like, well, yeah, he has autism. Like every what kid, if, it really is like such a curse. Like, and I'm gonna feel so bad when I'm at McDonald's looking across the table at my mm. seven year old, and he has like giant noise canceling headphones he has to wear all day. And yeah, the joke he, book like that he won't stop white. fucking reading out of. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and a pencil in hand. And, and he doesn't even want to read it. Time allowance with Joe I'm bored. for sure. I'm bored. <laughs> I don't want to read this, Dad. I'm bored. You're going to read it and be normal like the rest of the kids like I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to start forcing your, your childhood on him. This is what everyone did at your age when I was young. I just want to play football. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like it'd be, it'd be so funny if you like this is the kind of parent I'd be, dude. If my 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 son comes home, he's not morbidly obese like every other man in my family is. He's like kind of like in shape. He's like very sociable and he has like which him and I was too, but I, I guess I mean like he's very sociable with the ladies. And like, you know, he has a date really early on and she's really, you know, I'd just be like, yeah, you better watch out. She's going to break your heart. I wouldn't get too in depth with her because she's probably going to break your heart, honestly. <laughs> just like totally. Just, sab just sabotage her. Yeah, absolutely. Because I'm just, because I'm just jealous. I see my fat doughy self just being jealous, like hating this kid in school. Mm -hmm. Would you let your kid go into YouTube? Definitely. Are you fucking kidding me? Would, Hell yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be worried for him? It's, I think no. the kid's not going to have a choice. He's going to be in Hunter's videos from the moment. You will be, baby. Him. Oh, as soon as, as soon as I can do family <laughs> vlogs and make that kind of money, you better fucking believe it. Hey, we got Bryce here. Bryce, say hi to the camera. Leave me alone. I'd fucking <laughs> smack him real hard against the head. You're going to way back. As I say. I'm going to force him to learn a bunch of languages and shit too so he can do intros to different versions of uh, the uploads I'm doing. You know I mean, we gonna upload get, the videos. It's be all fucking dubbed. babbling in Portuguese. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No. I. I. I don't know. I wouldn't give. I honestly wouldn't care what my kid did. The uh, only thing I would want my kid to go into is if he was just like, I would just be bummed if my kid had no drive. But that. But that goes for anything. Like if my kid was like, if he was like a blue collar guy, but he loved his job, and he was just like, oh, I want like, and he was just motivated to do that, I would love it. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. There's so many kids nowadays I see or parents are just like, yeah, I mean, he doesn't know what he's doing. You're like, why would you not guide him and like help him find that out? 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe they maybe they tried and it just you know there's too much fucking TikTok about melting. I don't know. I mean, do you, do you really think that? Do you do you really think that like people are that are that misguided that their parents are trying that hard to actually like push people? And I'm not even talking about knowing exactly what they want to do, but like wanting to like do something with their life. I feel like I, that. I, I think that's I think TikTok genuinely fucks people's brains up. I mean, I, I mean, kids. for example, I mean, pro- there's I, like, I mean, probably, probably, yeah. Well, but for I think example, they, just but putting as, kids as, on screens, like, I oh, think yeah, like iPads like, or whatever. Uh, yeah, it fucks them. It's like them. a, it's, it's a weird curse because I do feel like it does, like, there are things that like hyper teach kids, like kids absorb like math or whatever, like anything crazy that like these screens can give them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I think it's also a curse where there's also like tons of distractions and shit and they like probably like fuck up their social skills. But I do think it's on the parent or at least for me, if it was me, I would like, I would just try to like, I don't know, teach those kinds of like ethics or whatever, or, like work ethic to my kid and just be like, you know, just like, yeah, I'm sure like your guys' parents did. You got to work for what you have, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like just weird shit, like follow by example. That kind of thing. I, don't I just see really so many parents any know. lessons. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily a lesson. I just think it's like I saw how hard my dad worked, mm, right. or whatever. And, and it's that kind of thing right. where it's like you talk to me about all the time of like I'm a big doy fat. Well, you don't say this, but I say it. Yeah, wait. I'm what a big the fuck? Fat, <laughs> I'm a big doy fat piece of shit, whatever. But I can get I can get like four hours of sleep, and I have like tons of energy or whatever. It's like genetics or something. I think it's the same thing that's bound with like you watching your parents or something. I think it's just like that kind of shit where it's like you are simply observing them and you see them. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. It's not, it's not like I'm, I'm not following my dad's footsteps every step of the way. Cause he's a fucking lunatic. But at the same time, my mom and dad both worked like super fucking hard. And at the same time I saw how hard they worked doing that stuff. And I was like, those jobs seem terrible. Like I want to, and that pushed me more into like wanting to explore things that I did like and stuff like, drawing and all that kind of shit and like i'm very lucky enough to be doing the job i do now but even before that i mean well, i did construction is, like, and all kinds of shit too it's so. fucking it's so it's weird to do it it's almost hypocritical but the chances of your kid being i guess you've got you know they'll have connections or nepotism if you chose but the chance of them becoming like a big youtuber or a big musician or some bullshit artist stuff like that is so low would you try and guide them away from it a little like maybe a soft absolutely touch. i well, think uh, yeah i, th- I, mean, I think this, that you, you have to, have to it too you're gonna look at them and mm. th- what i'm afraid of is you see them and you assess them as not talented enough but they're trying to do it Take out because your mother. They, you because you did it you know what i mean so, i think so the whole like, thing is more so i'm more so in a way where i want to guide them to be like you need to like figure out what you like what makes you happy. But I think you also mm-hmm. need to learn real skills of like, like inst- I, I, I honestly, and this is probably stupid. This could be ignorant, but I'd be like, I would much rather my kid, unless he was like, I absolutely want to do this. He wants to go to like a university or college or something. And I'd be like, if that's what you're super passionate about, go for it. But I, if my kid was unguided or he just was like, I don't know what the fuck I do. I'd be like, go to trade school and learn to be like, a fucking electrician to where it's like people th- that will be a forever job. And then that's something too. That's just like, you can do, you can like find out the other shit on the re- on along the rest of the way. But I think that you should definitely learn like nice core basics of like heating and cooling electrician. I mean, plumber, like all that kind of shit. And that's like noble, good, hard work that I think, you know, you can fucking do that for the rest of li- your life if you wanted to. And if you're super passionate about it, even more power to you, but at least that way you're not just like, it's the problem is, is when people are like, I want to be a YouTuber, but you have no talent really. And you have no ambition to actually try. You just want things given to you, which is a lot. Every big YouTuber. True. But it's also, (laughs) but see, but the thing is that those people have luck. Those people have luck and that, that does happen, but that's the 0.01% of people that get to have that happen. But I do think a lot of people who are like, I want to do YouTube. They have no idea what that means. They just see videos. They don't know how they're made. They have no personality or interest to even like cultivate that audience. So it's, I don't know. It's just that kind of shit. I, it's not like my first job wouldn't be like, buddy, buddy, just go into YouTube. Like what? It's easy. 
I would definitely like if he was like, I want to make YouTube videos. I'd be like, that's cool. But you need to like be able to pay your bills by yourself. The kind of, you know what I mean? Like, and that's where I think trades. I just, I just think trade schools are fucking awesome. Six months, super affordable. And it's like, there's always work. Always. Do you, this is something I kind of consider because I don't know about you boys, but I have plans to be a gajillionaire. And mm. I've always thought like, is raising a like well-adjusted kids part of just kind of being on the borderline of being poor and that if their life I is think too so. good yeah. and too Honestly, easy yes. and like yeah so Honestly, if you yes. have enough money to give like a way better and not better but like uh easier life than you had just because you didn't have that money when you were younger yeah you think you're you're just fucked you i can't think- do anything it's hard. I, I do. I honestly, in a way, I do think so. I think it's impossible. Like even like their living conditions and stuff. Like, do they live in a super fucking nice house? What kind of cars are they driving to school in? Like when you drop them off or whatever. Cause mm-hmm. I, 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 I thought, I thought about this before about being like, you could even do the whole thing where it's like, okay, well you have to work and buy your own car or whatever, but that shitty car is still coming home to like a nice house or what, like a very comfortable living versus before, like when my mom and dad got divorced, my dad is just a fucking idiot. And he just like, will not spend money on anything. He's a huge cheapskate, but my mom was like really struggling to get by and stuff. And, uh, that I think made me appreciate a lot of things a lot more because you're living in it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Versus if it's like, oh, I had to buy my own car, but you know, I I have an amazing room. Like we have great food, like nice, you know, all all that kind of shit. It's hard to say. And I will go on a limb and say, I think all rich, like rich, like rich kids are terrible. Always. I don't think I'm like, I I think it's impossible to get out of. Yeah. You have to, you have to point, you have to take your son by the shoulders. You'd be like, Hey, you want to end up like Guadalupe? Is that what you want? (laughs) I don't have to, Daddy. Spoil a little prick. You know the thing though, too, is I think that that's the wrong way to look at it, Tom. I think that when if you're thinking about being a cajillionaire, I think you you got to be like, how does my kid adapt to the rich kid lifestyle? Because his old man can't tell him, right? Oh, so it's something like experience. Because now you're in a new circle. Uh oh. Because you're probably you're probably rolling with dogs that were rich kids. No, so I'm still I'm still with my boys. Animal. I'm still recording Cream Crew. My no, no, my there, circle no, no, there, no, no, no. There's oh, that. The, there's like that. the school dad circle. Exactly, exactly. Mm. So and then at school, he's like, "Well, I mean, they don't eat like for me. If I was even if I was like, you know, a fucking cajillionaire, he'd be like, none of the kids eat Totino's party pizzas.'" And I'd be like, "What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, holy shit! What? Like <laughs> that kind of stuff?" And then having to go to social events, it's like I would be just as lost as he is, and then I'd feel bad that like. I'm not preparing him for the for the world that he's actually living in. The higher society and all that. Oh, shit. that's really tough. Yeah. I don't know how you do that. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It's like it's a fucking weird because I do think it's it's impossible to not make him a spoiled brat. Like if you try doing the like whole like, you know, oh, you gotta work for what you have, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you can do that. I feel like it's like, or do you just try to curve the beast? from the fucking volcano he was crafted from. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think you kind of have to go let him play with the council estate kids, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's the way around it, is you go, like, I've got plenty of mates who, you know, if I have some sprogs of my own, I'll just let them play with their kids, and that should fucking hopefully make some nice middle ground. There you go, Tom. You can just ship him yeah. back to England for the first 18 years of his life while you proceed with Flash Gets Here. Yeah, yeah with, with my with my insane yeah. wealth, yeah. I'm gonna send them to the most class system a, driven society. It's, it's, like no, the it's a fucking there. reverse Ted Lasso. You, you just you just pay uh, Callum's mom like thirty grand a year to raise your kid. Yeah, well that I'm might be going far the other way. Yeah. <laughs> you might be right. Yeah, I just that's what I'll do. I will, I will saddle my extremely aging parents with my children yeah. and they will roughly get kind of the right experience yeah. and that makes such a English, perfect person and they, get, they get to they get to earn the right to meet their dad they have to become successful enough to earn an o visa and go to america <laughs> and then if you do if, if you do end up having kids tom you gotta go back to england to make sure that they have the accent if, you, yeah. if they grow up in america i feel like they would definitely just have an american accent even if the oh, household sure. i just think it would then that would be fucked like i feel like that would eat at you 
<laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I, I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to look like at the, them. It, it, it's like it's not even your. Like you know, it's your blood, but in a way, you're just like, is it though? You know, is this what all those brave patriots died for in the Revolutionary War? <laughs> yeah. So that my fucking I want, I want him to sound. Card. I want him to sound like a loser. That's what you have to say. Okay, well, go, go, me... go Team America. Go, 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 team, go Team America. <laughs> this country's going to be underwater in 15 years. Just you wait. The I'm going to retreat back to my, fucking... my, uh, my little fucking English countryside villa. I would much nice rather be in America, where at least it'll take time, versus England, where the ocean will rise by two feet and everything will be flood, like completely underwater. I meant metaphorically underwater. I didn't mean oh, I see. physically yeah, underwater. Yeah, I, see, yeah, I, see. I mean, England being an island is probably definitely going to be you go, taken by I, the ocean. I mean, you can, go back and you can go back and get stabbed to death if you want. At least here, we'll be, I guess, <laughs> I get shot get in the face. Shot in the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good I don't know. I, 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 but but I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the whole kid thing is it fucks me up. I mean, I, I keep wavering. It's like I don't know if I really want a kid or not, kind of thing. I think I really, honestly, you know, what I would I wish would happen is it would just happen accidentally, to where it's like just I, I, I'm pissed that it happened. You but it's like you're just kind of you're dealt with it. You can kind of have a little hand in that. I can. My wife has like the fucking like weird bionicle pussy, where it's like. She has like a fucking something like implanted in. I forgot what's called IUD. Is that what's called? I don't. I can't remember. <laughs> it's, it's got. Full she's got an defense. IED implanted in her pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you go near it, yeah, it I, just I, fucking explodes. You can only go to, near I, it like the guy from the. I try locker. to. I try to feel around for it when I'm making love to her. Uh, like a fucking try to scrape it off like a tick, but I think I'm just causing more damage than I am really anything. Who are you trying to get your meaty paw around it to rip it out like that thing from <laughs> yeah. the Matrix one. Exactly. Yeah, that machine where it's like, you know what I'm talking about? They're in the yeah, car. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like Keanu, my my wife's pussy is literally Keanu Reeves' stomach or whatever, his belly yeah. button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> squeeing around in the fucking like little gas glass chamber. Um yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All, yeah, all that's you can do. A, you, 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 you the thing though too. It. To be fair, what we are we are not talking about too is that there's plenty of white trash and like gutter trash people as well. They're like the, even if you're not rich, you can still have a kid who's just the fucking worst. Which I see that a lot too. It's mostly with rich kids. Don't get me wrong, but you like meet the parents and you're like, oh, these people are really nice, but their kid is just the fucking worst. Like you don't know what they could have done. To make yeah, there the must this be. Bad. Have you ever, ever met a kid like that? I I can't remember if I'm honest, I but it must be possible yeah. because like it can't always. There's obviously there's always an interplay between like genes and environment, right? No. And let's say mm -hmm. you fucking nail the environment part of it. There's still potentially genes at play that you can't really account for, and the kid just turns up fucking retarded anyway. You mm. know what I mean? So like, well, even yeah, not retarded. Be, or do you mean? Do you no, mean literally retarded? Or do no, you mean I don't like, mean literally retarded. That's like yeah, an yeah, obvious yeah. thing. But like, like a bad kid. There's a yeah, potential yeah, yeah. that you could do everything right, and that still happens. So it must, it must happen or have hap happened. Honestly, you know? yeah. well, that, but that's what I'm I saying. Think the though, worst is, like, is the opposite thing. That's what like, I'm saying, though. Is like, how do we do? Like. To even avoid, like, you just have to like you just cross have your to fingers. Have and, 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 nah, you, you just have to have like, enough. Just, what do you mean? You gotta, you gotta play the numbers game, basically. Oh, mm. uh, like more than one kid? Yeah, for sure. I, th I think like you need probably like <laughs> five just to make sure at least some of them do the right thing. Man, brutal. I think the most kids I'd ever want to have is like just two, like just like a boy and girl. That's all I'd want to have. This is the perfect. It's like, the perfect number for me. Yeah, it just seems a bit dry. If one of them dies, now you got one fucking lonely kid. Yeah, I guess that's true. You can do three, but then it's like, then you have the whole like Malcolm in the Middle situation where it's like the middle kid is like, hates you because no one gave a fuck about him or whatever. That's why you have four. Then the middle <laughs> kids can look after each other. Yeah, but then I found I've every, uh, every like four pack I've ever seen. It's weird because it's also not four consecutive. It's like two generational. So it's like, like one right now mm. is one of my friends, uh, the bottom two, they're my age, but the other two are like 45. Yeah. That's so kind of my like situation. Yeah. Tom's the same way. It's like weird though, but don't, isn't there like, it, to me, whenever I've seen it, it's like a generational gap or it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, we're siblings, but we never talk or something crazy like that. Like, it's like, yeah, we're related, but you would never know. 
<laughs> nah, it's not. Thing. It's not really like that. I'll tell you what does. At least in my case, what happened is that the parents changed enough over time that the parenting style is like quite different, and that is oh, usually like yeah. a cause for conflict because the older two. Yeah, uh, they feel bitter. Yeah, they're way they were way mm. more strict. The parents you had because, a way, you had a yeah. you had an easy fuck it's, you exactly. That's what I've yeah. seen. But I still like I talk to all my siblings and I like all my siblings. So, oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, so, yeah, which even before it's like I don't think that my other friends I don't think that they had any gripes with them. It was just like, oh yeah, no, I never really talked to them. It was like that kind of thing. But it wasn't like out of any ill will. It was just like oh, they're so much older and they're on such a different trajectory that it's like. Well, how old is uh, like a generational gap? Because like my brother's like seven years older than me. Is that a generational uh, gap? No, I mean like this one, they're like 15 years older. The, the, the to me, that's mine like, goes 10, 10 years. My sister is 10 years older than me. I'd say 10, t- 10 kind of feel, I guess it's the whole thing of like when you're, when you're eight, she's starting her adult life, like that kind of thing. And you don't yeah, I really literally remember that. It. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's like something where it's like you can't even process. Like, oh, she's gonna move out and she's gonna be starting her life. It's like that kind of thing. I think is how I see it. Like with fifteen, it's like by the time, by the time that they graduated college, they weren't even in. Like they were in kindergarten. It's like kind of just odd. Like it's like a completely different life. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but totally my different speeds. My my oldest sister used to bring her friends home, and I got to perv on their fully developed breasts as a young boy. So it all kind of works out, really. I mean, that's awesome, but it's like, how old were you when that happened? <laughs> I don't know. Probably I must have been around like 10 or something. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, to yeah, be fair, I, have, I don't know what that's like, so I have no idea. Uh, what, I do you know, know what, from, what perplexes me is, uh, what is it about the parents where they're like, double cream pie, then wait a good while, then another cool. double cream pie? What I think is, what I think always happens is they have the kids way too early and then they feel like they've made it out of the storm. And I think that it's one of those things where they're just like, I feel like we could do it better this time. Even if they don't really say that, I think that that's how they feel. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like- I am culmination of my parents' experience. So I agree with that statement. But it's just one of those things where they're just like, uh, we're in a better, I, and almost always too with age and stuff, you're like, oh, I'm in a better place than we were back then. It'd be easier this time around or whatever, which I'm sure is just a lie. I'm sure it's just as torturous the second time around, but. Well, I think they're just more chilled out. I think that's what really happens is because they've well, been through the, two, they're just like, ah, fucking do it. You that's want. what I mean. Especially like fucking, if you have people that's like a 15 gener- fifteen year generational gap, 15 years is insane. And especially to build up a tolerance to like kid shit. Yeah. Like you, you, you'd probably just have like mm-hmm. thicker skin. You'd probably be more Zen like, or just be like, it would take a lot to like get a rile out of you. I'd imagine versus like new parents. It's like a completely different change of life. Like, that's why I think new parents are like so hard. Like the older generational gap is because they're just like, you ruined my fucking life. Can't do anything. Fuck, like, fuck you. Damn. Well, but then they realize that they really never even had a life to begin with. So they're just like, oh, okay. Well, hey, look at his little toes. Okay. They don't need to have English accents. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it just kind of happened. My, well, my sister had her first kid at like 21. That's so early, man. To me, to me, that's so early. I mean, like, to be fair, like, 21's really not that bad. But I just, I'm just like, man, just thinking about that, like, even just who I was at 21, I'm, I was I was such a fucking, like, immature, just, like, idiot. Like, just didn't know anything. But to be fair, I feel like having a kid, that'll make you grow up real fucking quick. Mm-hmm. So maybe, sometimes. Yeah. I think that we are uniquely immature and stupid. Yeah. It's just like the, okay. the nature of what we do and who we are. Even just interest and stuff, it is kind of based in like just more immature, fantastical things versus like more I realistic disagree. kind of shit. You disagree? As I sit <laughs> with my two Akuma statues behind me and my Sonic, <laughs> my Sonic statue. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, a... A financially secure man who like is just like fuck it, I can I'll take the bullet of the Kuma hit versus like the guy who's living in a one bedroom apartment with two kids that are screaming and stuff, and he's just like, oh, I just spent our money on an Akuma statue. It's different. <laughs> that honestly, yeah, that was my brother-in-law. So often he's um, 
Well, that's true. I remember yeah, my damn. sister like chewing out my brother-in-law because he came back. He took me to Warhammer World when I was like a young and um, and he came back with like a Warhammer kit he couldn't afford. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she fucking chewed him out. Uh, I was always like, "You fucking bitch." But then as an adult, you kind of... Because I'm like this poor guy who's always so nice to me. He just wanted a little Warhammer. He went to the Mecca. He went to Warhammer World. And that's all he wants. And you're going to be a hard ass about it. Obviously, as an adult, I'm like, oh, yeah, they probably couldn't afford that. And they had like yeah, that, that, that probably <laughs> that probably really actually like hurt them, like pushed them back or whatever, yeah. like really cr- caused some strain. Yeah. Dude, I will say, though, that you did just bring up Warhammer World when Noel showed me. The pictures and stuff of, <laughs> of uh, Warhammer World. I man, I want to go so bad. It looks sick. What was he? What was he doing there? In a fucking poser. He had yeah. uh, stand up shows. He had stand up shows, and he's a. Uh, he had stand up shows, and he's actually uh, he likes the kind of like you guys likes the Warhammer lore. Doesn't really play it, but he yeah. went. And oh, saw really? it and he, he, No, and no, he, no, Don, come on now, get him on the phone, Hunter. I want to <laughs> oh, fucking really like like Henry Cavill. <clears throat> Probably not. Does <laughs> Jesus. I want to. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna. gonna I'm, I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna like speak to like how in depth it is, but he's like a big like just Starcraft player. Yeah, and okay, that kind of shit too. Pussy, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyways, he sent me tons of videos of it and uh it was just fucking insane. Like ten thousand piece sets and stuff, like crazy. Oh yeah, it's all, fucking like, all dramatically lit and stuff. It looks fucking awesome. There was like five there was like five different ones too. I can only imagine how fucking long it took to like set everything up perfectly and like build it. It just seems really cool. I'm gonna be going back mm. to England this summer and uh I'm definitely gonna Bro, go no back shit. up there. Huh? Don, are you going too, or is it just a solo trip? Oh yeah, it's, it's just his, uh, uh, just to go back to do some visa stuff. Oh, I see, I see, I see. No, I have to go That's back it. for Warhammer World. It's like right of return for Israel. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 once in life, you get like a free trip to Warhammer World if you're English. So that's what's happening. Are you at least gonna? Please tell me that you're at least gonna be there for like a little bit to enjoy time with like your mom and dad. I'm sure they miss you. No, Warhammer World, and then I'm I'm gone. A little three day <laughs> trip. Head, head back. All right. <laughs> Well, it was fun. I'll just Skype them. Well, I mean, I'll Discord them from Warhammer World and it'll be yeah. okay. Wish you were here. It, it. Send a postcard. Send a postcard yeah. of uh, Angron Can't believe fighting. I missed you. <laughs> we'll get you next time. That's right. Yeah, no, I'm going to... I haven't seen them in three years, man, so... That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying. I'm like, you should take time and fucking stay out there for a while. And fucking like... I mean, you don't have to stay there forever or anything, but I just mean like... You know, be able to like really soak it in because God knows how fucking long it's going to be till you see him again. Which hopefully, the, like, just the this stint was so long just because of obviously like COVID and shit. But um, yeah, that's why it was because like I couldn't literally wouldn't be, have been able to come back into or America even if you, I left. you need to you need to fly your old uh, your old man and your mom out. So you need to do and bring him to I've the states that. and have him I've check done out. That before recently, I don't think not while I was in Texas. Did you? No, a few years ago, oh, like okay. in Maryland. That's what I'm saying. Though you got to get him out into Texas and fucking have him check out old Bucky Beaver and shit. Yeah, well, I, I hope you guys enjoy the gas station. That's about all there is out here. Yeah, but they're like, oh look at this, it's crazy. Oh uh, look, 140 bucks. Uh, what will the Americans it's do hun- next? It's 116 degrees out, Tommy. It's kind of hot. I don't understand Fahrenheit, and it, I would in fact say it is 41 degrees out, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's 41, so it's actually a lot colder. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, a little bit of dad humor never hurt anyone. I tell you what, though, uh, something that's getting ready to come up in Kansas City, it'll probably already be done by the time this comes out, but uh, I think this week or like next week is. Uh, in the Midwest, they do this thing called Crypticon. Um, and it's like a horror convention. Ooh. I went to I went to Pasadena to go to Monster Palooza, which is fucking awesome. Was so sick. Uh, which is just like a horror convention thing, but they do something similar in the Midwest, but it's like really, really cheap and like way smaller. It's really, really funny. It's like white trash, like horror convention. But the the best thing about it though is that people will bring their movies that they made. So it's like a bunch of people who have made like really cheap horror films and they're trying desperately for you to buy them. And uh, it's it's always so much fun, like sitting down and watching them. Bro, you got to do videos on it. Yeah. I, I, well, I, it's like, I don't want to be a dick because like it, it's way easier when you're not looking at the creator in the eyes <laughs> and you've met them and they're all nice. You know what I mean? Like and then it, that makes that gives them a soul and like, you know, a face. 
versus like whenever like we're getting ready to do this series um called bottom of the bin and it's like supposed to be like all of like those four pack dvds that you would see at walmart that were yeah. like four whatever so we have i have a bunch of those dvds and we're just gonna like pick ones randomly and just see which ones you know whatever so like we're doing something similar to it but i i just i'm really stoked for it it's gonna be really funny also there's always like extremely overweight cosplayers like this one year i'm sure I, I wish i could find the video like in 2019 right when my channel was popping off this is probably like this is probably september i mean this is like one month of my channel doing like popping off like my pinocchio video just blew up whatever and i was like oh i'm gonna go to crypticon and record it and i was so nervous to record in person so i had like at the hotel that the convention was at they had like this bar and i got just like shit faced and i was walking around just shit faced because i just was so nervous to record in public and i never stopped i just kept walking because i didn't want people to, <laughs> to see me repeat like recording shit whatever um but anyways there was this uh like extremely extremely overweight predator cosplay and i was oh, shocked so by it i was shocked by it i mean it was he had the fishnets and everything but he was so fat <laughs> and i was like god damn i was like you mind striking a pose to the camera and he strikes this pose <laughs> And I was like, what do you have to say? What do you have to say to the, the viewers at home? And I put my mic up to his mask and he just did. He did like, he did like this. He did the fucking sound. It was like, I was just Hell like, yeah. I was like, you died spoke about laughing. this before on the podcast too. Oh, well, there you go. Well, it, it, it brought back fun memories. I'm just hoping to have Ooh. more fun memories. But it, there's nothing really more depressing than going to these conventions and seeing like actors who are in movies like. 30 years ago and they're just sitting at a table by themselves it's very oh, it's, yeah, it's very it's depressing I, 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 I see my future immediately <laughs> yeah did you do you remember uh do you remember oh, do you God, i can't even do you it's sad i can't even remember the name of the bugs bunny one i'm sorry do you remember wabbit season do you remember jawbreaker yeah i can sign that for you if you want no i'm okay okay it's ten dollars <laughs> you should always sign that that's what that's my future god that's going to be us in two years. Hey, you know, that's like almost a thousand days. This <laughs> <laughs> is a good run. Yeah, You're, just, yeah. just, I'm just that's, looking at the positive. That's right. Hey, just south of a thousand. A thousand. I like that. Yeah, just, just, just a Most hair Most people under a thousand. Would, well, yeah, would trade a lot to get 700 days of, you know, internet stardom and tons of pussy like we have. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Tons and tons of pussy. Was that, um, was that convention the one? I remember you had some like variety DVD thing of like cheap horror movies a couple of years ago. Is that where you got that? It might have been. I can't remember. The last one, the last one I went to. No, no, no. Because the last one I went to, the only one, the only DVD I got was this guy did like a Yeti film, and it was supposed to be like a comedy, but it was so clearly the movie was shot in like maybe three hours. It was just so bad. <laughs> Like, man, really funny edits. But see, like that at that point, too, it's like it would just be rude to make a video on it because it's like so obviously there was no money put in this. And it's just like some guy having fun. I mean, sometimes it's like it's so oddly cheap and bad. You wonder if there's some kind of hidden incentive to its creation in the first place. You know, how do you mean hidden incentive? Like like some kind of like financial tax money laundering reality oh, like, I see. like, like, on, like oh, let's on, make this and we can get x amount or something like that this cost yeah. this, the, the other night we were on um we we're on amazon prime and like amazon prime genuinely recommended a, a movie called sharks of the corn that was like <laughs> that's awesome an hour sharks. and a half long <laughs> So we turn it on. Oh, this will just be like a stupid B horror movie. It's like it's like an F, you know, whatever. A, sure, a sure. Much, yeah, yeah. It, but it's like it's like maybe seven forty-six-year-old people got together to earnestly try to make a horror movie, but well, you not know, really. You know what happened? Like and I'm guessing. Quarter. And I'm guessing they had like shitty VFX in it and stuff and whatever else. Yeah, yeah. And like the, the quote unquote so, sexy characters are still like 52 years old. Uh, so what yeah, I hear yeah. a lot of the time, what I hear a lot of the time, actually what's interesting is a lot, and this is like a weird, weird facet of like, like, so there's like a lot of crypto whales that will, uh, 
just give money to like no name directors just for, it's like buying an expensive painting, like a rich person buying an expensive painting. But people will give people money like that for tax write-offs and for like the meme of it. But it's almost always for tax purposes is what I've heard. That's, granted, yeah, that's what I mean. some, granted, some of these things, like the budgets will say nothing. But what they'll do is they will spend money. And then that way they can put more money into like advertising or whatever else they need to do to spend money. Like X amount of money, obviously, of whatever their accountant says. So I, that, that's how a lot of those get made. And also, to be fair... Those movies like that, they come out because the because people will like like film distributors will be like, shark films are really hot right now. We need to just buy up shark films. So what happens is people will see like, oh, I see Sharknado popped off. We need to make a shark film and hope it, hopefully it gets bought. Even if it's just for the title, people will do that. So distributors will sell it to streaming services who will just buy They'll just literally, cause it's like a Google sheet or it's like a, a track sheet of names. They don't watch yeah. the movies. They just grab them and then they just buy them for next to nothing. But the film was made for even less to where they make a small profit on it. That's how it happens. That kind of shit. This is it's like this weird. Is so, bi- so I found, bizarre. I it seems I like, such, like yeah. one of the sexy actresses from uh, this mm. film I was talking about. <laughs> I found mm. it on her IMDb. I'm a little slow. Well, like, Wait, you gotta see like in in the first five minutes, there's this like guy wearing this retarded T-shirt, and and they're like on a uh, blanket outside of a field of corn that is evidently in the vicinity of Corn Con, <laughs> and like his girlfriend's supposed to be like the hot whore that dies first, you know? Is this her done? Of course, is this the hot whore who <laughs> dies first? Uh, it might have been. Can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, it could have been, but like <laughs> she kind of looks like the actress that plays. Uh, I forgot what, what the fuck her name is from the f- first original X Men movies. Ah, uh, never mind. No, not really. Never mind. Yeah, whatever. But it's it's know. so it's like so this. earnestly executed that she like gets her tits out in like the first five minutes. Bro, I'm going to like prime right now. With them. <laughs> I'm fucking then, beating and, this and then, bad yeah, boy up. Three dollars. <laughs> Yeah, you have to rent you, it. You paid for it. I, I don't think. No, I don't think I paid I for it. I better expect free. some fucking tits I think it was, for, for that. I think it was free on Prime. No, it's not. I'm looking <laughs> yeah. right now. Maybe did you watch it on Tubi or something? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I've got it. I just had to switch accounts. I got to see these these big old <clears> bats <throat> running around a cornfield. So it's just called shark corn. Sharks over the corn. Dude, like this looks like a, this is short exactly how a porn would be. This is a pop yeah, meat like, video waiting to happen, dude. I'll do a hundred percent. Oh, Steven, oh my god! Are out. This is this is so fucking annoying. Stephen Kang's fuck off. <laughs> god, Stephen <laughs> Kang's sharks of the corn. Kill yourself. You know what's fucked too is they put they will put they will put so much of the money into like hiring a competent illustrator to make a decent cover. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's this so, is it should, be, it should awesome. be fucking illegal. This shark is fucking <laughs> going through the cornfield and the camera like starts on the woman's tits and then pans up as she screams. This is so good. Don, why did you share yeah, this I'm, with me? I'm doing a uh, I'm doing a video on this shit. <laughs> this Easy so peasy. Funny. Yeah, dude, this is right up your alley. You Looks, know what? God, if, Jesus Christ. if that was my girl at, you know, 55 or whatever, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be complaining. They're trying to do a, uh, I've been trying, I've been waiting for this movie that was released. I, I saw a, uh, a trailer of it. It looks so fucking stupid. They're doing a, a movie called Gale, which I was like, uh, Gale, what is this about? And it's about Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. It's a Dorothy Wizard of Oz horror film, but they call it Gale because apparently Dorothy's last name is fucking Gale. Um, mm. But the trailer to that is just fucking abysmal as well. But I, I feel like that one's going to be really, really funny. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry, faithful cream crew listener. I am speed viewing through this shark film to see if that's the only <laughs> pair of tits. <laughs> How many pair of tits are in the film? Have you guys ever watched Joe Bob's Drive-In? No. He's like a uh, infamous like horror movie critic or whatever, but his things are always funny because at the beginning of his reviews or like when he talks about a movie or whatever, he will... Uh, give you like a countdown or whatever of like crazy shit that happens. So he'll be like, there's 24 boobs, three beheadings, <laughs> two disembowelings. And like that kind of thing. And so, yeah, I wish I thought that was like a funny, a funny thing to do at the beginning of a review. 
Joe yeah, Buzz only, only one pair of tits. Just a heads up, boys. Cringe. That's the best, that's the best pair they could get. Yeah, probably. You got it for one scene. Please do it more. Please do it more. No. I don't want to. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. I'm going to come. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. I'm going to come. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. She's talking to a scarecrow with a shark head and a corn cob for a cock. Does she suck the corn cob at least? She threatens to. Does she? Does she at least suck? <laughs> does she? Does she at least suck the corn cob? Please tell me she at least sucks the corn cob. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh does my she god, put please. butter on it? Does she put butter on the cob? Oh, oh my god! Does she bite the? Does she bite the corn cob? Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna come. Come 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 Ah, what a fucking angel, eh? I see trees green, red roses too. I'm gonna come, 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 come. Do you still, do you still think you'll fuck your missus when she's like sixty? Do I think I'll be having sex with my missus when I'm sixty? Yeah, when she's sixty. The yeah, age you are not. doesn't matter because you know, but the age she is. That's what I'm talking about. God, I hope not. She'll probably leave me before then. I imagine. When do you think she'll do it? When do you think she'll pull the plug? Oh, hmm. I don't know. Probably like, I'd, I'd say by we're 40. I feel like everybody has that like, you know, that's like the midlife crisis age, right? How long have you been with her? 10 years. Well, you got past the seven year hump. So, I mean, maybe you're in it for the long haul, bud. We will see. I hope so. Does any part of you wish she would just like die? But it's Die? Not your no. Fault? <laughs> no, uh-uh. <laughs> no, 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 no way. I mean, probably, probably not as much as anybody else imagines it, but I, I, I think that's probably pretty. I, I've heard that's pretty normal, actually. Yeah, it's very, it's pretty normal to just. Ah, oh, it's not my fun. Nothing I could have done. It's tragic. In fact, I could even spin it to the new women in my life when they ask me about it. Maybe get. Some I mean, I would hope way. if if it happened to me, I hope that she would use that for her own gain. You know what I mean? That's some cuck talk, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm dead. I don't think you can. I, I don't think that's really. A, I mean, literally, the whole, the fucking vows are till death do you part. I'm dead. We're apart now. Yeah, but I hope she uses it to get some more dick. From hey, I hope my, my wife hey, ghost cuck? chemically castrates herself <laughs> as soon as I die. I hope she sews it shut so I can forever rest in peace. I bet the first guy that she gets with after you're you're done is. I bet you she lets him come like all in her asshole. No, she's going to sew it up. <laughs> okay. That's vastly different than she's what I was sewing, She's sewing shut her eyes, her mouth, Please her arsehole. Take it. And it. No, no, no. She's, Spit on it. She would, no. Go and dry. She would go to a very remote forest in Finland and become almost a, a myth. Like a strange, scary legend of the lady with yeah. the so sharp arsehole. She's like, a, in the she's, woods. Like fucking, she's like a fucking yokai in Japan. She's like a fucking spirit that's just like floating around the forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just giving her asshole to every guy that walks in. No, no, in. no. It's so shot. That's part of the scary. Take you see them stitches. Ass. Come <laughs> in my <laughs> asshole. Well, yeah. I mean, she's she's determined to, but she's stitched up. That's her tragic. Oh, cryptic cut it open. Deal, you know, cut yeah. it open. <laughs> and then and then they try, and she goes. Mm, 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 I no, would never says, do that to my husband. Dig in there. No, she wouldn't. She, she wouldn't. Give it your all. <laughs> Dig it like it's a pagan burial ground. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm no. going to sit on it. No. There we go. No, she wouldn't I'm do that. I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely oh, not. Oh, tree spirit. Tree spirit, leave me <laughs> picking on coming over. I catch your seed. <laughs> she floats off. <laughs> yeah, she's she's a yearly harvest. You will be raped if you go into the forest. Do, I'm do telling not you go right in now. the forest in Lapland. Do not go in there. It I is don't cursed. Fuck, I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> it's cursed. Hello. You can hear on the wind. <laughs> hello, hello. He's like echoing. Yes. I see you. Yes. <laughs> you just hear the slow ripping of stitches. Oh, no! Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> they hear it. They say, yeah, they say you hear the, the ripping of stitches. And the sound of <laughs> Finnish psycho on the wind. Boys, protect your pricks. We have to. Gu guards up, gentlemen. Guards up. <laughs> 
If Tom's well, wife's a ghost, maybe Tom would be a ghost too. Maybe you'd be uh, you like, don't leave my princess alone. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, the problem is if you do come inside her, then Tom flies in and, and he's the person who rips your cock off. Hey! Oh, I think I'll be here, man. Yeah? <laughs> Two men cannot have been with this woman and have both survived. <laughs> oh, I'm not, not a cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be. It's like a. It has the same kind of infamy as the fucking suicide force in Japan. Where would it this? Where would this be? Would this be in Finland? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> or because Finland be quite, have forest, or it's like yeah, a big no, they got lots of like pine forests and stuff. Oh, there you go. She could also. Perfect. They've got lots of lakes too, so she could kind of haunt a lake as well. Ooh, I kind of like the lake vibe. <laughs> yeah. She's just floating yeah. across ethereally with her said, yeah, she, closed asshole. Fog, fog rolling in. Moi, moi, moi. That's what they say. That's I how they say in Finland. Moi, moi. Please come in my asshole. Don't you go- even think about it. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy? Don't worry about him. <laughs> if you do that, I'm going to be very bad. bad no, bad. don't listen. Don't, don't listen to him. <laughs> you just shut up, you fucking whore. <laughs> He's lying. He's lying. Hi, you just hear slapping just on the wind. Hey. <laughs> Get back in the fog. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in the fog. <laughs> Put yourself back in the fog. You pagan witch, you fucking bitch. I fucking hate you. I'm going to fucking rip your bloody skull out of your ghost I'm going to rip eye. your stitches off me, is. That's what I say. You know, you'd be you'd be a good ghost. It's like a, like a, a person that's in a boat. Like a, what is it? Like a ferry? Is that the deal? Where it's like the, the you pay the, the toll, whatever? I don't know ferryman. what you're talking about. Ferryman. Oh, the ferryman. ferryman. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like you'd come up with a lantern and you'd be like, do you want the best ass you've ever had in your entire life? <laughs> no, no, I would never say that. I'd say, <laughs> you keep your eyes staring at the <laughs> floor of this boat and I'll get you across this river. Don't you look pay, if you hear a voice. Don't pay you pay me. Any mind. <laughs> pay me two shillings and as long as I can record it, you can have all the ass you want. I Tom's- would never say that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I would say it. I would I say am it. a cuck. You keep that. I'm, and if hey, you don't first mind, thing you've I'm going to be pleasuring take myself. This passage is I'm, I'm going to be pleasuring myself <laughs> no, in the boat. No, 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 So no, 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 Hey, shut up! And it's a it's a POV <laughs> section where you can see my no. you can see I'm me coming. jacking my cock off I'm while you get fucked. I would never do such a thing. Oh, I am a big, big respectable <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> I'm the Meanwhile, they're already all fucking Tom's wife. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no. Because I warded her off. Get out of here! I'm hungry. Make me some dinner, please. No. Yes. Come on. We no. haven't. I work hard all day on this ferry. I expect why at least you, some dinner. Why would you? Why would you let the guy get on the boat then? If it was this, I still asshole. want my shillings. <laughs> Keep your eyes yeah, but, pointed firmly the, at the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's unzipping my pants. Oh god, she's here. <laughs> don't look. <laughs> don't if you don't look, look you'll turn to stone. You. <laughs> you'll turn to stone. Don't look, oh god. And that's she's how the evil, evil spirit. That's how the souls in my sea of souls gets ever bigger because as soon as <laughs> they violate or are violated by my wife, over the edge they go. Yeah, they come in her ass and then they no, go no, no. turn to stone. They turn to yeah. stone and float to the bottom of the <laughs> bottom of the lake. It's, yeah, it's getting quite hard oh, to no, take no, the no, boat across soul. with all the fucking stones sticking up, scraping it's the, the temptation, of it. the temptation of the sweetest apple. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. That's kind of cool. Maybe their good, their, their soul comes out when they come. How about we stop expanding on this law? <laughs> it definitely didn't happen or wouldn't happen. It would never happen. You, you probably you probably at least make a killing off of it. I mean, you do want to be a quadrillionaire. You probably be. I mean, you'd probably mm, fucking no, clean that's, up. That's blood money. I'm not taking that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right, dude. I feel like of all the people, you'd be like, oh, okay, wait, okay. I'm just fucking putting me pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, if the well, money boys, is okay, fine. fine. Is this a is this is this a, f- a fun way to end the show? Oh, should this, we, isn't, should this we, isn't going in. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, <laughs> Elliot, this cut it, this out. It, it, it make for a great <laughs> make for a great thumbnail. What would we call? What would we even call the episode? We would call it <laughs> Ferryman Tom and <laughs> no, like no, that. no. We would okay. call it uh, Guadalupe. Guadalupe, the video. Okay. Uh, you, you, yeah, could, you could you could put you could you could you could put my uh, face on a big fat body and have like a back rooms hazmat suit guy cleaning me. There you go. And we'll have Geno <laughs> and, and, and then, in the. Sorry, and I'm in a room, and, and then in the window of the room, there's a lake, and you can see. Tom's no, wife no, no. getting fucked no, by no, men no. with Tom recording it. Uh-uh. That'd no, be a no, nice little detail. It's not a lot of pixels. You probably get away with that on YouTube. Just a little window. Something <laughs> no, no, in a no. deep distance. No, no, no. I, no. I, I, I have a feeling that as soon as we get done recording, you're going to go downstairs and scream at your wife for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you make me look like a fool. On the <laughs> you make me look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> She's oh, like, what are you talking about? about? I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed angry. <laughs> you stay away from that river. <laughs> yeah. What? No lakes for you. <laughs> it's, all, it's all made the worst by the fact she is an avid sailor. So I don't know how <laughs> you she found actually? that out. Yeah, she loves, she loves her boats. <laughs> oh, you fuck. stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> you, stop you stay away now. from that untainted <laughs> angel. <laughs> it's gonna be really yeah. funny when everyone discovers i actually don't have a wife and i'm single all the girls are rejoicing right now with you saying that <laughs> i've seen the one or two comments saying damn tom is fine yeah i don't blame him i think that they're men but you know you can no, get I what checked, you want I, I did a deep dive on the channel yeah and, uh, no no they had <laughs> no they, they had a girl anime profile picture so they were definitely girls that was definitely a woman <laughs> yeah i did some sleuthing yeah. I wonder, if that, uh, act, I wonder if that actress from shot, Corn in a Shock in a Cornfield has a Twitter. Oh, she definitely does. There's no way that she wouldn't, right? She is 50-something. You should look it up. I'd follow I'm her. looking up. What, really? On it. She's 50-something? She looked great and she's 50-something. I that's I don't know. I don't know. That's why. What, how old do you think? I bet, I, bet you she, I, bet you she's, I bet you she was like 20s. <laughs> Late 20s, joking. maybe? Yeah, The girl that you put here. in the Discord? Yeah. From her IMD picture of her? Look, okay, I ignore the bottom one. Looks, that, that's a 20-year-old woman, is it? Or a 30-year-old woman? <laughs> uh, maybe not the one on the left. But the one on the right, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, okay, mid-30s mid then? Was that more acceptable? Mate, you off. You're having a laugh. Well, how, look, look it up then. How old is she? Okay, I fucking will. Hold on. IMDb. I'm on it. I'm on it. You're going to look like such a fool in a moment. Contact. Info. I mean, I have hmm. <laughs> contact info. Hello, <laughs> hello. I'm looking for a new wife. The last one didn't work out. <laughs> she's a she's she's a specter on a finish <laughs> on a finish lake. <laughs> yeah, uh, this woman unfortunately is not prolific enough to have her birth date out in the world. Wait, let me see when her like first movie was. That that will help. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if she's had much of a big breakout since fucking Shark Corn. She's I, a podcaster. I <laughs> she's a podcaster. She's got Uh-oh, OnlyFans. She's got OnlyFans. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey, excuse me. How old are you? <laughs> I'm trying to settle something with my friend. I'm trying to settle something with my friend. Dude, come on my we podcast. could probably get... <laughs> can we get her on the podcast? I bet we could. Probably. Should we do that? The, prob- the problem with this, Tom... Is that I feel like you are going to this is gonna ruin your marriage. You're gonna to get too excited and you're gonna it's gonna cause it's gonna cause a divide. You're such you're such a you're such a entrepreneur. 
How much money do you bring in? Oh wow, my God. That is quite something. <laughs> I could quit <laughs> my quite... job as the ferryman for that kind of money. Jesus. <laughs> And you're not a ghoul? You won't let your ass to anyone you're else? A, you're not a spectre <laughs> upon the, the lake? <laughs> this well gets better then. and better. <laughs> well then, I, I think I'll drop my oars now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, hold on, stop. Uh, go check out Cream Crew Clips, where you can see little bite-sized nuggets of Cream Crew and share them with your friends so that your friends are tricked into listening to this podcast. And when you're done with that, check out patreon.com forward God, slash this, cream this, crew this is the worst <laughs> this is the <laughs> could you be any worse at this guy and then when you're done with that multi-step process take more time to go to a paywall i if spoke you, clearly and eloquently if with you want to cool if you it, listen we gave you a lot of dad advice today if you're younger and you think that we're, we're your dads, then we need to be paid for it. So go over to patreon.com slash cream crew and pay for bonus content because we have extra advice there and it helps support the channel and keep this fucking stupid boat afloat. The boat that's sailing on the same lake that Tom's no, wife's no, no. ghost is on. No, no, no. That lake <laughs> oh, doesn't I exist. It was. That, oh, I see. that okay. story was all made up. It never happened. Five bones for extra episodes. We have a bunch of people keep raving about it. It's unbelievable. Really, we have to we have to stop people from watching it so many times because people keep keep having epileptic seizures from how uh, from how many times they're it's so sleep deprived. One dollar twenty five an episode. So yeah, extra weekly episodes. Also, uh, fucking <laughs> uh, and just like that, just started up. Uh, yes, it did. You wanna- you yes, want to start it the, did. It, the Patreon might become a it weekly. Might, I think it absolutely just should like that review for the next eight hour. for the next two months. It should <laughs> we should each episode should just discuss the episodes. That should be what it that, and we need to get more people on this show. It's unbelievable. I I hope it's as tragic as the first season. That's all I have to say. Okay. All right. Well, that's all we have. Bye bye. Love you. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.